Only one enemy stands in our way. France and the nations beyond are beaten from decades of crusades. If we break Eastern Europe, then it is likely that all of Western Europe will surrender. But to break the East, we must defeat Hungary. Hungary possesses the most formidable cavalry in all of Europe. They have not only the strength of European armor, but their horses are cousins to our own, having drifted in from across the Russian steppes. The Sazo River that separates us from the army of Hungary is frozen, so we will be unable to deploy boats. Instead, the battle will be won or lost over who controls the bridge. Subotai is coming with reinforcements. If we can survive the charge of Hungarian knights until Subotai arrives, then we can hope to take the bridge. Much rests on this simple bridge. If we capture the Sajo crossing, we capture Hungary. If Hungary falls, so falls Europe. With Europe and Asia under Mongolian command, our conquest of the world will be complete and final. Lord Ogatai, we must hold off the Hungarians until Subotai arrives. He will be here in 40 minutes. Just get us close enough to an enemy building, and we will give our lives for the cause.
Hatchung. Motchung. Or Or Hatchung.
Subotai should be here in ten minutes. He better not be late. stands between us and the Atlantic Ocean. The Mongol Empire comprises two whole continents. Europe and Asia belong to the hordes. Every place we entered has changed forever with our passing. Russia, once filled with quarreling city-states much like ancient Mongolia, will forever be melded into a single gigantic nation. Genghis Khan forged the largest empire ever created in the life of one man. His body was carried back to the river Onan, where the legendary blue wolf and fallow doe once lived. He was buried in the ground, and a thousand horsemen rode over the site to disguise it. Genghis Khan's final resting place was devoured by the steppes. My people cherish the legend that their great ruler will one day return to lead his horsemen to another bloody victory.